Which founding father had the best economic ideas? I mean, Hamilton had some good economic ideas, and I think some bad ones. Jefferson had some good economic ideas, but a lot of bad ones. I, none of the founding fathers were very good in economics. Uh, economics was a very young field. Capitalism had not really fully been born. In a sense, they were birthing it. Um, they had read Adam Smith, but I'm not an expert on the founding fathers. Uh, I'm far from an expert on the founding fathers. But from my limited knowledge, I don't think any of them was, was a superstar when it comes to, uh, when it comes to um, economics. And, it, and, and I haven't read enough at the source to tell. I mean, many people will argue that it was Alexander Hamilton. Uh, I'm not in a position to argue against that. I know others would argue against that claim, too. Uh, some claim infinite economic growth is a fantasy, and the field of economics needs to be reconceived along a long-term steady state. Uh, nonsense is my thought of that, complete nonsense. There's no reason why economy cannot grow forever. The myth of limited resources was blown up by uh, Julian Simon, the great economist. Uh, human needs are infinite. The human ability to create resources, to discover resources, to figure out resources. The human ability to do that is infinite. We should be mining asteroids and mining Mars and mining the moon. This, the Earth is not our limit. But there is no limited resources in any meaningful way. So there is no reason to imagine economic growth being capped in some way. There's no limit to how much we as individuals need. We discover we need stuff after the producers produce it for us. And then we can't live without it. iPhones is a good example of that. But we're just starting. We've had economic growth for 200 years, 250 years. I mean, just think of what is possible in another 500 years. I mean, you'd have to be a science fiction writer to imagine it. But we've just started figuring out what computers can do. We've just started figuring out what robots can do. We've just started figuring out all these, you know, the, human, the full human potential and the potential of innovation. I mean, and as we combine human brain power with computers, wow, what will our needs be then? So no, there's no limit to economic growth because there's no limit to resources, because there's no limit to the human imagination. There's no limit to human needs. There's no limit to what we can produce. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think, meaning any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the role of the collectivist brute. Using the super chat, and I noticed yesterday when I appealed for uh, support for the show, many of you stepped forward and actually uh, supported the show for the first time. So I'll do it again. Maybe we'll get some more today. Um, if you like what you're hearing, if you appreciate what I'm doing, then I appreciate your support. Uh, those of you who don't yet support the show, please take this opportunity. Go to yourunbrookshow.com slash support or go to subscribestar.com your own book show and um and and make a kind of a monthly contribution uh, to keep this uh, to keep this going i'm not sure when the next